Hi guys, in this short video I wanted to show you the comparison between the original Windows 11 Sandbox and the Sandboxy. I think there's a little bit of confusion. I had a little bit of uh, discussion lately with somebody and there is a big difference and I wanted to show you if you want to use either one. I mean the Windows Sandbox is pretty much already built in into the system but you still have to configure it needs a little bit of work not much the sandboxy you can download it for free and also use it so there's no big difference in effort to use either one of them so i wanted to show you a little bit the difference so so first i want to show you the sandboxy the sandboxy after installing you have this icon here you can start it now you can see it says it's reloaded we keep it running here in the background that's important otherwise we cannot do anything and after that we can go to any program let's say here we want to open a browser maybe brave browser so we right click on that yeah sometimes we have to wait a little bit i think that's not the full menu so we wait a little bit for the full menu now we have it here with right clicking and we have to use a run sandbox. Of course, we can also start it from the sandbox itself, but it's easier when we are using the context menu of the original program. So we say run sandbox, and we choose the default box here, and it's already working. So I make this a little bit smaller. You can see that here. Every time when I hover my mouse here over this box here over this window then it has a yellow frame and the yellow frame confirms that it's running in the sandbox and when we want to add a little bit of more protection we can even activate the privacy window and we can even use all the plugins which we already have here let's say the nordvpn i'm already connected looks like everything is okay so I think this is already close to the maximum protection which we can expect or wish. So everything is running here in the sandbox. We can even close the original browser. So only the incognito mode of or the privacy mode of Brave is running and it's running in the sandbox and it's even using the NordVPN so we are super protected I mean the NordVPN has even some extra protection like uh, this tracking and threat protection and whatsoever so there's really not much more possible than that and so we are super protected here so very easy to use if you want to search for something in the internet uh, which you don't know if it's safe also if you want to avoid some tracking and of course you can also search for a program like an exe file download install it and then it will be installed also in the sandbox always check for the yellow border also after installation then you can use everything test see if it's safe and when it's safe you can download it in the real browser and so you can limit the risk for you i really love this thing and the other option is the windows version after installing everything i mean you just have to activate more or less there are some nice tutorials how to do that it's really just uh, maybe five ten minutes or so you just hit the windows key then start typing sandbox and then you have actually both options, the sandboxy, and here we have the Windows sandbox, the original Windows sandbox. We click on that and it needs a little bit of time to boot up. So it basically starts Windows in a Windows, in a safe Windows. You can see we have it here now. So also it doesn't take a lot of time, but the huge difference is here everything is empty we don't have access to all the other programs and when we invoke the file explorer you can see it's actually totally empty there is nothing no installed uh, program nothing which you have downloaded installed no tools no add-ons no nothing so you really have to go from scratch and also regarding browser we just have the original uh, microsoft browser there is nothing else so everything else which you need you really have to download and install like VPN or the browsers or so I mean I'm not saying it's a bad thing it can be really helpful as well but my choice definitely goes to the sandboxy sandboxy plus I'm here using the 1.5.1 and again it's totally free and we really have a lot of options also here with the sandboxy and we go to the global settings you can see what options we have there are really a lot of very 
advanced options which we have. I think it's not possible to have anywhere close to these options with the Windows sandbox. So I think this is the way advanced option here for me, the way to go. But of course you have all this choice and you can install the sandbox and install the Windows or finalize the Windows sandbox. You have both of them, but just wanted to show you the big difference. I hope this helped you a little bit. If you have any questions or comments or you want to let us know what's your preference, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.